with the temperatures getting cooler, uh, chickens are gonna be spending more time indoors than they are outside. So I'm gonna build them it's a set of roost bars to go to go in the run. That way, at least they're not sitting on the ground, the wind blowing on them. They can kind of get up off the ground and gives them something to do. They, they like to come in here in the barn because they can hop up on things and sit around. So I guess I'm just gonna make them a quick set of roost bars and get those installed for them, see what they think. I'm not going to countersink anything, I'm just making a pilot hole. Okay. I'm going to just carry this around here. You can set this part up. See how this fits in here. Okay, there's that part. Now, go grab the chainsaw and we can start cutting down a couple of small hickories to use for roost bars. If we can manage to find a couple of small ones I've got to cut a bunch of this stuff down over here anyway. Shouldn't be too hard to find some in here small enough to use. I think four will be enough. I don't know if this is already dead or. Well, I think that'll work.
Well, they're not hickory, they're small oak, but they're gonna work. They're big enough that they'll hold the chickens up, but they're small enough they won't weigh a lot. I just carry them back up there and cut them to length. Now, I'll cut these to length here on the miter saw. Then we'll go back in the chicken run and attach them. Okay, let's go put them on, see what they think. Well, that little job's done. Now I guess we'll just wait and see this afternoon when they come back in here and see what they think about it. Well, now that the, the little bruce bars are finished for the chickens, I've got this big pile of lumber on the trailer I need to get off of here. Um, I have a whole bunch of other lumber stacked up over there, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I guess I'm gonna take this over there and add it to the other. Um, I need to cut a bunch of stickers so I can kind of space it out. 
so it'll dry um well, it doesn't hold water and rot while it's sitting there and then i've got a some old tin i'm gonna put down on top of it to keep it from uh you know keep it dry during the winter and it'll dry out pretty good the doors uh they're already starting to dry out so uh, i'll come back here uh, in a couple of weeks and probably hit with the pressure washer get all the black off of there where it's just kind of it's dirty but i guess i'm going to go ahead and move this over there and see if i can unload some of this stuff get the trailer freed up I got this pile cleaned up. It's, it's somewhat straightened up. At least I can put some tin on it now and cover it up, keep the rain off of it for the winter. The rest of the lumber that's on the trailer, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to length. I'll stack it up in the barn. I don't really wanna lay it down like this in the barn because it's it won't take any time. That thing will have rattlesnakes and copperheads all in it. And every time you pick up a board, you're fighting a snake. So I'll just stand it up and most of it's going to get used pretty soon anyway uh i still have to cut battens out of it uh close up this one gable end and uh build a smokehouse on the other side it's going to build a lean-to on the other side of the barn just like i did the chicken coop on this side the other side just going to be for parking and for uh smokehouse on the back side so a lot of it will get used up here pretty soon anyway and i'll have it out of the way but i'm back over here now I'm gonna start cutting this stuff to length and stacking it in the barn. While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure Wanda. For those of you that don't know, uh, Wanda is the pink pig, Mary Ann's the black one. And they're starting to put on some weight now. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure and try to get a basic idea of how much she weighs. Come here, fat girl. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, 
43. It looks like she's going to weigh around 165 pounds. So she's not as, you know, not as big as I'd like her to be this time of year, but uh, I got them late. They were small, but she's growing. Uh, it'll probably be really, really late winter or early spring before they're, before they're ready to go to freezer camp. Come on.